Hi everyone, it's Charles at Empress Mills and as promised, I am delighted to be here with our uh, first video starting to look at um, new arrivals coming in to us here at Empress HQ. Um, we get new arrivals often, so the plan, as I mentioned, I don't know if you saw the video before, um, the plan is to look at lots of the uh, new things as well as going back and looking at some um, classic ranges as well going forward. But for now, we've got the um, luxury sweatshirting fabrics. Um, the, it's, it, it's not a new range to us uh, entirely. We've, we've stocked sweatshirting for quite a while now, um, but we've just dramatically increased the uh, design options available in the range. I added some, um, I think about a week ago, um, as they started to arrive. And just yesterday, we received another um, whole batch into stock. And I thought, what better um, range to take a first look at? Sweatshirting, it's so chilly at the moment, um, it, it, couldn't, it couldn't fit better. So, um, I've called this premium luxury quality sweatshirting. Um, premium and luxury, to my, to my way of thinking, get banded around just a little bit too often um, these days, particularly online, although it is difficult to describe things. I do sympathise with people trying to describe things. But I do try and limit uh, our use of premium and luxury to only the things that we do think are that little bit more special that really deserve the um, title. And to our way of thinking, uh, these sweatshirtings do just that. They've got the uh, sort of a jersey outer, as you would expect, and then a fleece backing. What makes them luxury here, you ask? Well, the jersey fabric um, outer is just that little bit heavier than usual. It's just got that little bit more body to it, so it gives it this lovely drape, just that little bit of firmness. Still soft enough, still soft enough to be used for hoodies, nice sweatshirts, um, uh, oversized sweatshirts, that kind of thing. But they've just, it's just got that little bit more um, body to it. And then the fleece um, back, obviously it's not sort of a, a massively heavy fleece back uh, that you would expect for a jacket is, sweatshirting fleece, but it is silky soft. It's got just a touch of a pile to it and it is silky soft and smooth, very warm, very cosy. Um, and it really just has that sort of premium finish. There's no shedding on it. Um, there's no bits coming off. It's it's a really nice, uh, nice quality, silky soft fleece um, finish. As you would expect with um, sweatshirting, there is some stretch. It is in the width of the fabric. So we'll just turn it around so you, that's looking at the width now. So it's in the width of the fabric and there is the stretch as you can see there and very, very little movement at all in the length of the fabric. There's just a, a little touch, but not much movement at all. The vast majority of the stretch is in the width, as you would expect. Um, the real sort of core stuff, it is um, the vast majority of the range of the design range in uh, these fabrics are 60 inches wide, 150 centimetres. So um, great for uh, most patterns. It, it, they do work sort of across the board. Um, it is cotton rich, I'll just quickly double check, it's 56% cotton and 40% polyester with just 4% elastane, so 4% um, of, the, of the material is made up of elastane. Um, with it being cotton rich but also having that polyester content, it is easy care, you can pop it in the washing machine, you can tumble dry it on a cool, um, on a cool cycle and it will be absolutely fine. So if you're expecting to be wearing your top a lot, which hopefully you will be if you're making it, um, then this fab these fabrics are absolutely perfect for that. From a design point of view, we've got all sorts. Truth be told, um, if you know me from any of the uh, trade shows or anything, you know I get carried away, and I've added, I think now, every design that I can uh, currently find, I think I got carried away in the, in the last order and I've ordered, uh, every design that is currently in stock with our suppliers and that covers absolutely um, all sorts of prints so we've got we've got things like this one which has sort of a little dragonfly on and a nice mushroom all sorts of bits and bobs I think that comes in three colorways um, we've got things like that one uh, which is a dinosaur design I don't know if you can see it well enough that's a dino design the bottom one there is a floral, quite a sophisticated floral. Um, 
they all they all feature the backing fleece often in a coordinating color obviously just to make it nice and um, we've got the different here we go this is a nice one look at these animal prints these are two of the brand new ones that have just arrived in and we've got those in two or else um three colorways i think i ordered three and we're waiting for the last one to come in but it will be on the it will be on the website um so yeah we've got that uh animal print but we've we really do have all sorts from sort of more grown-up designs to uh novelty prints like the dinos like the unicorns designed for um obviously designed with kiddies in mind but for big kids as well I, I, i'd be happy with the dinosaurs put it that way um yes i think that's everything uh, from a sewing point of view you can stick to the general purpose thread if you would prefer to sew with something just that little bit heavier then we've got um, empress thread plus which is um, it is twice as strong but only half as thick again um, to our standard general purpose thread why is that important because you're getting the extra strength but with it only being half as thick again you don't have to make changes to your machine setup you can use the same needle it will run in most universal needles or ballpoint needles um, and usually it is uh, unusual that you would have to make an adaptation to any of your tensions so usually you can just carry on with your machine setup as it is um, with that stronger thread available from a needle point of view with it having the jersey uh, outer we do recommend stitching it with a ballpoint needle rather than a standard universal the ballpoint just parts the uh, knitted fibers a little bit as you are sewing it and it will stop your needle from catching and breaking and it will also stop any damage to the fabric and of course your finished garment and um, i think i've touched on just about everything there um, if you've got any questions of course please 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 drop me a message you can leave a comment underneath the video you can message us through any of the social media channels, of course. If you receive the Empress e newsletter, message back to that. It comes to me. If you don't receive it, sign up, then you get it. Um, but yes, this is our first video looking at the fabric properly. If there's anything you would like me to do uh, differently, please let me know as well. Uh, constructive criticism only. We don't want any meanness. Um, but joke this out, please let me know. As I said, said in the previous video, we want to make these for you so you get more of a feel for the fabric so you can see how it drapes how it moves just that little bit more um and i hope we've done just that thank you very much for joining us i can't wait to be sharing um some more videos soon click the like and subscribe button underneath the screen to get updates when we do share new ones thank you very much see you again soon